Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you are doing well. So in today's class, I'll explain you one case study that is March 2024 exam series and the paper is AS Economics Paper 2. And uh, I'll give you the PDF of this paper uh, in description. I suggest you to go there and download this paper and read the, read the case study carefully. Right, so I'm going to just explain you the answers to these questions and using the information in table 1.1 compare the change in projected real GDP growth of Japan with that in the US between 2022 to 2025. So this question carries two marks and for two marks you have to explain two things and identify two things from table 1.1. In table 1.1 you will clearly see when you will download this paper and you can read that paper question uh, case study thoroughly then you will find that in 2022 uh, Japan and USA both had greater growth rate and afterwards growth rate is still positive but the rate of increase in GDP is falling. Uh, in 2022, I think in Japan it was like 3.5 percent growth in 2022, and in the USA I think it was 5.2 percent. Uh, I'm not showing this case study intentionally. I suggest all of you to download this paper from. Uh, it is given in the description, and then you can read that like table as well. And in 2025, like from 2022 to 2025, it kept decreasing, and I think it uh, it reached 0.6 percent in uh, like Japan, and it reached uh, around 1.7 percent I think in uh, the USA. So what will you say here? You will say I'll show you the exact answers um, at the end of this video as well. So in Japan, uh, you can say that. In Japan and the US growth GDP grow uh, GDP growth is positive right so the rate of growth is positive so GDP is increasing however the rate of increase in growth is decreasing throughout the period from 2022 to 25 right so you can mention these values as well you may say that in Japan in 2022 growth rate was 3.5 percent in 2025 it is still positive but the rate of growth has decreased whenever the rate of growth is positive it means gdp is increasing however the rise in gdp is with decreasing rate mean 3.5 there was 3.5 percent increase in 2022 and there is 0.6 percent increase in gdp in 2025 in japan and in usa you can similarly explain this Okay, so two things are important. One is the growth rate is positive. The second thing is the rate of growth is decreasing, right? Growth is positive and rate is decreasing. The second question is with the help of production possibility diagram demonstrate the likely impact of increase in investment in AI on Jap Japanese economy in the long run. Keep in mind when examiner just says that demonstrate means you have to just show with the graph you need not to explain it right so whenever there is increase in investment in AI it will increase productive potential of the economy of Japan so as a result production possibility curve of Japan will increase and shift to the right so you have to label the graph perfectly so this is X good and this is Y good and PPC was initially let's say AB and after the increase in investment in AI production possibility will increase from AB to A1 B1 but yes just you have to draw this diagram right so you will get two marks but keep in mind you have to label each and everything perfectly right so this is X good this is Y good and you have to label each point that is shown in, in the diagram what generally students do they just make this graph like this right so this is uh, this graph is not correct right this does not basically properly label everything 
that is required. Okay, so for this question, you need not to explain anything, just make this graph. When examiner says show with graph, yeah, demonstrate with graph, then you have to just make the graph. When he says explain with graph, then you have to make the graph and give explanation as well. The next question is with the help of a demand and supply diagram, explain uh, consider the impact of additional investment in AI on the price and output of a US car maker. Okay, so now what you have to do is you have to make an equilibrium graph, right? So you have to make the graph of an equilibrium. You will say that uh, the impact of additional investment in AI on the price and output of US car maker is shown in the following figure. Then you have to make this figure or diagram. This is quantity origin point on why we have price right so this is an initial demand curve this is an initial supply curve equilibrium is at e where price is p and quantity is q so additional investment in ai will increase the use of technology that generally speeds up the production process and as a result overall production will increase and supply will also rise when supply increases it shifts to the right right so the new equilibrium will take place at e1 where quantity will rise to q1 and price will fall to p1 so you will make this graph and after make, making this graph again you have to explain this as well what will be the explanation of this graph you will say that as per this figure initial equilibrium is at e where price is p and quantity is q increase in investment in ai will increase the supply of cars so as a result new equilibrium will move to E1 where price of cars will decrease from P to P1 and quantity or output will increase from Q to Q1. So this will be the correct and perfect answer for this question. Question D says assess the possible impacts on unemployment in Japan as a result of the increase in investment in AI. Okay so keep in mind the unemployment that is connected with the technology is known as structural unemployment right so unintentionally and intentionally you must think that this is this question is asking asking about structural unemployment okay so you can stop the video read the question carefully and try to understand that then later on you can play the video and listen to the logic Okay, so you will have to say that increase in investment in AI will have different impact in the short run as well as in the long run. In the short run, structural unemployment may rise because of the invention of new technology or investment in AI because in the short run, many machines will be operated by the technology instead of humans such as like in the case studies it was mentioned that taxi drivers will lose their jobs truck drivers will also lose their jobs so in the short run many people will be f like structurally unemployed because they don't know how to operate the res recent technology and like many production will be replaced uh, with like uh, machines instead uh, machines and robots instead of like human beings so as a result unemployment in the short run will rise however in the long run unemployment is expected to fall possibly because japan is already operating like 200 to 300 it companies and this number may further rise in the future and there will be the requirement of workers for like repairing and maintaining this machinery technology and tools in the long run so they will get more jobs and definitely government will also educate and train workers in the long run so that they can operate the new technology machinery tools and they can be adjusted into the new jobs so you have to talk in favor of the statement against the statement and then at the end you have to give conclusion right so in conclusion you can say that the impact on unemployment due to the invention of uh, like invest increase in investment in AI uh, depends upon like the readiness 
of the workers to uh, learn new skills about the new technology machinery and tools right if they are more willing to learn the new skill then uh, unemployment will decrease otherwise unemployment may increase the last question is ss question again every ss question requires you to write in favor of the statement against the statement and then give conclusion like all three assessment objectives are required assessment objective 1 2 and 3 The next question is assess the likely impact of the growth of AI on specialization and trade of a country such as Japan right So again you have to write uh, the advantages and disadvantages of this statement and then give conclusion as well right so you will have to say that the impact the likely impact of growth of AI on specialization and trade uh may be like increase in specialization and increase in trade and you will have to give the reasons as well right so japan is already a technology oriented country so specialization in ai will make it more efficient and productive and more specialized in technology oriented things so as a result specialization will increase and when a country specializes in something it can get comparative advantage over other countries and when it has comparative advantage it mean it can produce goods and services at cheaper rate as compared to the other countries so when it produces cheaper goods and becomes more competitive other countries will prefer purchasing from japan goods and services from japan so as a result result japan's trade will further rise so it is the basically benefit on the other hand you will have to say against as well right if it over specializes in technology or artificial intelligence then in the future it may face troubles as well it has some threats as well right so uh, the impact may be negative because if it over specializes in technology and ai and in the future there may be change in trend, trends in the industry so as a result there will be a huge loss of jobs right so it will have a greater impact on uh, japan's economy and trade may also decrease because if trends change then definitely demand change so as a result japanese trade will also decrease may also decrease right and it may lead to a uh, greater increase in structural unemployment and and similarly at the end you will have to give conclusion as well and in conclusion you can say that uh, growth increase in growth of ai increases comparativeness uh, of japan to produce greater output as compared to the other countries and at relatively low prices so as a result japan is expected to get more benefit out of uh, ai So now you can see the exact answers that you should write for these questions. Question number one, part A, answer is showing on the screen, where you have to basically uh, point out two important things. One, one is growth rate is positive, and the other is rate of growth is decreasing. And the answer to part B is you have to just make the graph and write it to the uh, shift it to the right, and you need not to uh, give any kind of explanation. and for part c you have to make the equilibrium graph and then shift supply curve to the right from s to s1 where price will fall from p to p1 uh, from p1 to p so this initial price is p1 and it will fall to p uh, there is a little like um, issue with the alignment p1 is this point is p1 right and this is p so price will fall from p1 to p and quantity will rise from q to q1 and then you have to give explanation as well now part d is showing on the screen you can read it right so i'm slowly showing it to you uh, read it carefully and then you have another part part e and you can take screenshot of these questions as well 
Okay, so I believe you got uh, the idea how to answer a case study and what are the exact answers to this specific case study of March 2024 exam series. So, further see you with the next video soon, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.